Hi students. Today I'm going to read you a book called The Little Red Hen. And we've read this in class before and it's in Spanish and English. Today I'm going to read the English version. And it's by Carol Ottolini, illustrated by Reggie Holiday. Once upon a time, a little red hen lived on a farm with a dog, a pig, and a cow. The little red hen worked hard every day, but her friends were very lazy. They slept in the sun and watched the little red hen work. One morning, the little red hen found some grains of wheat. Look, she squawked to the other animals. If we plant this grain, we'll have bread with our tea. Who will help me plant the grain? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cow. The little red hen sighed. I guess I'll have to plant it myself, she said, and she did. All summer long, the little red hen watered and weeded her wheat. The dog, the pig, and the cow always said they were too busy to help. By the end of the summer, the wheat stood tall and golden. It was ready to be cut and threshed. Who will help me cut and thresh the wheat? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cow. The little red hen sighed. I guess I'll have to cut it and thresh it myself, she said. And she did. She cut the wheat with her sharp beak. Then she tied it into bundles and shook loose all the grains. The little red hen loaded the wheat grains into a wheelbarrow. It would be nice to have some help, she thought. Hmm, I wonder if anyone's gonna help her. Who will help me take the grain to the mill? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cow. The little red hen sighed. I guess I'll have to take it myself, she said, and she did. At the mill, the miller poured the grain between the millstones. The stones turned round and round, grinding the grain into soft, powdery flour. The road back to the farm was long. The wheelbarrow was heavy, but the little red hen forgot she was tired every time she imagined the taste of freshly baked bread. Back at the farm, the little red hen asked the other animals, Who will help me bake some bread? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cow. The little red hen sighed, I guess I'll have to bake it myself. And she did. The little red hen made the dough and put it into the oven. To bake. Soon, a delicious aroma filled the farmyard. Mm, aroma means smell. The little red hen pulled the perfectly baked bread from the oven. It was crusty and golden brown. Mm, 
Now, who will help me eat the bread? The little red hen asked the other animals. I will, said the dog. I will, said the pig. I will, said the cow. The little red hen shook her head. No, you won't, she said. You did not help me plant the grain, said the little red hen. You did, red hen. You did not help me cut and thresh it. You did not help me take the wheat to the miller. And you did not help me bake the bread. So, you are not going to help me eat the bread either, she said. I will eat the bread myself. And that's exactly what she did. The end. I hope you guys liked this book and I will also read it in Spanish in another video.